It all started in May of 2020 when I had received my first surgery, an ostrigonum removal. Look at that unevenness. I can't point my foot all the way on this foot. I had developed an extra bone present only in 5-15% to 15 of people, and because of the constant strain put on my ankles from the art form that I love, I had developed the painful condition known as ostrigonum syndrome. Dancing became agonizing, and I could not dance to my fullest potential with an injury holding me back. It nearly made me miss out on my senior year performances and my final bows. So in fear of this injury impacting my career, I decided to have it removed. I would be out of dance for a little while, but my time in recovery would be substantially shorter than the time I would lose in my career being cut short. Fast forward to November of 2020. I had bounced back from surgery quickly, and I started the trainee program at Ballymet in the fall. I never felt happier. I was improving, growing, and evolving as a dancer faster than ever before. I truly felt that I was much stronger than I was before surgery, and I was ready to audition for professional ballet companies. I came home for the holidays, and I was filming my audition tapes. I had been warming up my feet in my point shoes, ready to film my pirouette combination, and a sharp pain shot up from my once healthy ankle. I fell off of point, and when I went to try again, it was too painful to stand on it. I started panicking. I had just come back from receiving surgery on my right ankle, and now I was experiencing excruciating pain in my left ankle. I couldn't finish the filming process, and I could not take class for days after. I decided to skip class again today because I just couldn't, I just can't do it. It just hurts so bad. I was afraid that I had injured myself again, and eventually I had an appointment with my foot and ankle doctor. But then I had the follow-up appointment with him after my Christmas class on Friday. And what he told me was, I have ostrigonum syndrome on my other foot. I would have to receive surgery again, miss out on ballet again, and go through the recovery process again. At this point, quitting seemed so much easier. I viewed this as a sign from God telling me that dancing wasn't meant for me, and I thought maybe I should just give it all up. But in life, you can't always take the easy route. The amount of blood, sweat, and tears I put into my 14 years of classical ballet training was not going to go to waste. 14 years of working towards my lifelong dream of becoming a professional ballet dancer was not going to go down without a fight. 14 years of dedicating my entire existence to this art form, I could not just give it all up. You have the power to say this is not how my story will end. I decided that this would be the beginning of the next chapter of my life. Mission reset. And we're here again. <laughs> I just got my IV put in and I'm waiting to talk to the anesthesiologist and to my doctor. Today is Friday, January 29th, and has been one week since my surgery. I have missed a ballet so, so, so much, but I am not gonna lie, guys, at the same time, sometimes late at night, I'm like laying in my bed, and I'm like, this is so much easier than going back to dance and like going through the recovery process and like coming back. Like, why don't I just lay here for the rest of my life? And I cut it off right there. I said, nope, nope, nope. We're not gonna have this kind of energy. Sometimes I think like, why don't I just like quit dance altogether? Like that would just be so, so much easier. But life isn't easy and you can't always take the easy route. Today, they're just taking off the splint. I'm encouraged to walk and like move my foot again. Then next Friday, these stitches will be taken out and then I will be leaving to go back to Ohio the next day. And I am back to ballet. <laughs>
Look at them. Look at these biscuits. <laughs> Let's see how I can point my feet today. <laughs> this is honestly so funny. <laughs> today I have my last post-op appointment and tomorrow I get to go back to Ohio. Today I get to take out the stitches which is really exciting. Now this time around, I decided that this new chapter would not just be about recovery. This was about making a complete 180 in my life. When I started my trainee program in the fall, my life was just dance and sleep. After my six hour long dance days, I would just come home and lay on my bed for the rest of my day and not do anything else with my life. I always thought, I'm too tired, this is all I can do. I'll try tomorrow. I was doing the bare minimum. Yes, I was happy to be dancing full time and I was literally living the dream, but I wasn't happy with myself. I thought back to the days in my sophomore year of high school when I used to go to the gym and work out every day to supplement my dancing. I was in the best shape of my life. In addition to that, I also felt so strong, beautiful, and happy in my own skin. The gym was not only aiding in my dancing, but it was an escape from the world just the way ballet was for me, and I loved it. But burnout and a toxic relationship with the gym ended my euphoria, and years after the fact, I felt like a shell of my old self. I decided that I was done feeling this way, and done playing the pity party. My injury was just the opening that I needed to pick myself back up. An open gym. Just for me. So I did. Cause I'm young. Why they trying to hate on having fun? I'm just young. It's my intuition, blur my vision, cause it's fun. Tuesday night, I'm drunk as fucking laughing, cause I'm young. They so fucking salty that I'm not here getting dumb. Cause I'm young. I don't see a single fucking problem when I'm numb. They don't want to start no fucking problems when I'm on. Gonna be here a while, cause I'm all fucking young. She on me, know I'm by my cheese, yeah, lick up by my feet, I'm too young to rest in peace, yeah, demons on my body, uh, keep my bros around me, yeah, my mind be too crowded for your wishes, I need balance, uh, sipping lovely, these days getting cold, no she want me, it's never getting old, yeah, I wanna get in the jeans, I wanna stack up my green, I get it by any means, cause I'm young, why they tryna hate on having fun, I'm just
into my recovery process, I was in such a good point in my life. I was so incredibly proud of all of the physical changes that were happening to my body as well as the mindset shift that I had made. Not only was I looking good, but I was feeling so good about myself. I was feeling so happy. I was dancing well. I felt that I was improving and gaining my strength back so quickly. And I felt I was well on my way to becoming a better version of myself. But on April 13th, my life fell apart. My bunny Theo passed away so suddenly and I just lost my entire world. I just lost myself. I stopped waking up early in the morning. I stopped going to the gym in the morning. I even skipped out on dance for a couple days and the only reason why I went back is because I had to be there for rehearsal and I really didn't want to go, but I made myself go. Life was just going so well for me for such a long time that this was just so sudden and my life it just shattered. Now I could have just ended this video not even including this part and just showing how I am now, how I'm looking now and how I'm dancing now, but it's just not my reality. I've said this before and I'll say it again, healing is not and will never be linear. For the past two weeks, my life has been in shambles. However, I am so incredibly proud of myself. These two weeks, have been absolute hell for me. I have fallen out of my routine and I've kind of lost myself a little bit. But that doesn't invalidate all of my 11 weeks of work that I have put into this recovery process. I literally went from being in a splint, on crutches, bedridden, could barely point her foot, being in so much pain all the time, to dancing full time, doing the entire class, being on point, turning, jumping, doing what I love. That is something to be proud of. I look at videos from me dancing in the fall to me dancing now, and it's not even the same person. <laughs> Before Mission Reset, the Rihanna that I saw was so unhappy with herself, so unhappy with doing the bare minimum, constantly tearing herself down, coming out of every single technique class, telling herself that she was a terrible dancer and that she would never make it. Now I look at myself in the mirror and I see 
a beautiful, stronger, healthier version of myself. Yes, I definitely still do have days where I come out of technique class and I'm like, wow, that was shit. But now I know it's not worth it to linger in this negative condescending mindset. Your mind has so much power. The way your mindset is can really make or break your day. Say you had a bad technique class in the morning, you fell out of every single pirouette, you had to put your foot down in an agio, and you feel like you're a terrible dancer. Recenter yourself and think, okay, today was just a really off day. I know what I did wrong, I know what I can do better, and I know what I can do to get better. That was just an hour and a half of your day, and you still have five to six hours left in your day to make it better. You do not have time to linger in those negative thoughts. You get to decide how the rest of your day goes, and tomorrow is always a new day. Yes, my life has been falling apart for the past two weeks, but I go back to the fact that this is a lifestyle. This is not just some 30-day challenge that I'm putting myself through, and after the fact, I'll just go back to my regular habits. This is a complete lifestyle change. Sometimes other things take priority, but you can always pick yourself back up. I want to say thank you for all of you who have been following my journey. I never thought my videos could impact anyone in such a positive way and my heart just gets so happy reading all of your comments and just reading all of your progress for those who are on this mission reset with me. Thank you all so much for going on this journey with me and for supporting me and for giving me all your love. I just can't thank you enough. I love you all so much. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you want to see more content from me. Hit the like button if you want to support me. Leave a comment down below because I love talking to you guys and I will see you all later. I need mostly. So don't test me. I don't want things to get messy. Yeah. Drop down a little ass empty. Yeah. Like I just wanna hit delete. Come and test me. Hit you with that smite.